What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a very different video for you guys. I have this massive travel bag right here and it is completely full of WWE figures. So what we're going to do is we're just going to freaking unbox this thing. We're going to take each figure out and I'm going to show you all the figures that are in this thing. Um, it's pretty massive as you can see. Um, and I want to show you guys everything that's in here. As you see, it's completely filled all the way to the top. So this may be a longer video, but I think it'll be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, guys, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. The first figure we have right here is this Battle Pack Aiden English figure. And I wish I could convert this into Elite. I want to get an Elite Sheamus and do that just because I like Aiden English's run so far. Like He's actually been pretty freaking awesome as of late with Rusev and Rusev Day. Right here we have this custom Elite Scott Dawson which is a nice figure as well. Now that I got the NXT Elites, I'll probably do away with these. I'm trying to look for a trade, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit me up. Next up, we have this Custom Elite Jinder Mahal, and it looks freaking nice. It's from BEW. He made this for me, so shout out to BEW. Next up, we have this Custom Elite Ty Dillinger, and shout out to BEW. He's the one that did this head scan. I never completed the Custom, but this figure is still nice, and I cannot wait for the Elite 57 one. Next up, we have another custom, and it is this Zack Ryder, and this head scan is also made by BEW. So as you see, we have a lot of work from BEW in this video. Next up, we have the SmackDown Live Women's Champion Charlotte right here with her SmackDown Live Women's Championship that I custom made myself. Next, we have the Elite 54 Jimmy Uso, and it is a terrible figure. I love the body, but the face just needs some work. So I'm looking to do some work on the older Jimmy Uso head scan. Next up, we have the Elite 52 Xavier Woods, which is a good figure. I like the color scheme on this thing. Next up, we have this custom Elite Shelton Benjamin that I made myself. Up next, we have this Elite 48 Eric Rowan, which I like. It's a lot better than the first one. I like the black attire much better than the green. Next, we have this Elite 40 Lita. It was very awesome to see her return in the first ever Woman's Royal Rumble. Next, we have this Custom Elite All-White Rey Mysterio. Another return in the Rumble. Very awesome to see him back. Hopefully, it's not a one-off. I hope to see him on SmackDown Live tonight. Next up, we have this custom t-shirt. It is a Dolph Ziggler shirt that um, I got from Ring of Clothing, so I have to throw that on my Dolph Ziggler Elite. Next up, we have the Elite 52 Braun Strowman, looking awesome. He had a strong performance last night on Monday Night Raw. Next up, we have Mojo Raleigh. Cannot wait to get an Elite of him. I actually like him. I liked him better as a face, though. Everybody hates him, but I enjoyed his face run. Next up, we have another custom from BEW, and it is this, uh, well, it's sort of a mix-up custom. Me and BEW both did this. He did the amazing head scan and arms, and I did the rest of it. And this is just one of my favorite figures in my collection. Next, we have the TNF Jason Jordan figure. Very nice. We have the Elite 51 Zami Zayn figure. The Elite 56 Fastlane Roman Reigns Elite, which looks incredible. I love the Nike boots. Next, we have this Custom Elite Dash Wilder, the other half of the Revival. Next up, we have this beautiful Entrance Greats Jeff Hardy figure, which I am still so psyched that we are getting now. I have that custom shirt thrown on there. We have this Elite Fix-Up Daniel Bryan figure, and he did not return in the Rumble, so I guess we'll see what he's doing tonight on SmackDown Live. We have the Elite 35 Luke Harper, and I actually have a fix-up idea for this. Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out, but if I do it, I will show you guys. Next, we have the Elite 54 Jey Uso. And it has his uh, SmackDown Live Championship. Next up, we have this awful freaking basic Miz from that battle pack with Daniel Bryan with his Intercontinental Championship. This head scan is so rough. Next up, we have this Elite Gold Dust. I think it's Elite... Cannot remember which Elite Series this is, but it is a nice Gold Dust. Gold Dust, not Gold Dust. I like the head scan a lot. Next, we have this awful basic Natalia figure with, like, zero articulation for real. 
You see Cesaro popping his head up right here. This is a custom that I have worked on in the last few days. All I did was add some blue to the trunks and the shoes as you see there. Um, let me know down in the comment section below if you like that custom Cesaro. We have the Elite 53 Big E, I believe. We have the Elite 54 Rich Swan. Hope to see him back in WWE very soon. We have the Basic Nia Jax. Battle Pack with Mick Foley, Stephanie McMahon. We have the Basic Naomi, which is still a strong figure. I like this figure a lot. I think the head scan really, really does resemble Naomi. We have the NXT Target Exclusive Shinsuke Nakamura, Royal Rumble Winner 2018. Very nice figure. Not a big hand, uh, not a big fan of that head scan, but still a good figure. We have the NXT Target Exclusive Asuka, winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. Elite 47.5 Victor, one half of the Ascension. We have one of my favorite figures in my collection, this Elite Best of Pay-Per-View Randy Orton fix-up with the hoodie. Love the head scan on this thing. One of my favorite figures Mattel has ever produced. It's the Epic Moments Jeff Hardy from him and Matt's return at WrestleMania 33. We have a woman who just lost her career, and that is Paige right here. Still a good figure. We have this basic Becky Lynch. Still do not like her head scan. I just don't know how, but Mattel cannot seem to get Becky Lynch's head scan. Next up, we have this custom fix-up Cesaro with the custom shirt. I love this fix-up a lot. Then we have the other half of the bar with his Raw Tag title. It is Sheamus. Need to get a fix-up head scan because that is a very old head scan right there. Next up, we have my gift from BEW and Venomine, this Custom Elite MDT Dolph Ziggler. Let's see if we can get in here and show you guys this freaking tight. There's my logo right there. It's got the zebra stripes all over it. Freaking beautiful custom. We got a promo Brock Lesnar right here. Sick AF Brock right here. Haven't seen anybody else do this yet for some reason. I like that head scan a lot. Next, we have the final member of New Day, and that is this elite Kofi Kingston with his LeBrons on. We have the other half of the Ascension right here with Connor. Elite 47.5, very nice figure. We have Trash Corbin in his end of day shirt, which should be the end of his days in WWE. Next, we have the Elite 25 Heath Slater, if I'm not mistaken. Need to get the new Elite 53, very behind on that. We have a Raw Women's Championship. We have the Epic Moments Kevin Owens figure. Looking very nice. I like this figure a lot with the long pants. We have the Elite 53 Alexa Bliss. We have my fix-up Undertaker missing his freaking hat, which sucks. It is in the bag somewhere, so I guess we'll find it in just a second. We have the U.S. Championship. We have the Gentleman, Elite 56, Jack Gallagher. We have Chad Gable, one half of the Bingeables. First ever WWE Cruiserweight Champion with the new purple belt. It is TJP, or TJ Perkins. We have a WWE Championship. We have this Fix Up Network Spotlight AJ Styles with custom shirt on there that looks beautiful. We have the ringside exclusive Kane right here with the Fix Up head scan from the WrestleMania Heritage figure. We have a Universal Championship. We have a Elite 50 Rhino, I believe, with some blood on his head if you see that there. Um, still, if you had to clean that, the paint won't come off, so hopefully I can get a head in there so I can swap it so it won't have that blood on there no more. From the pick fed, got the Cruiserweight Championship right there. 
have a Custom Elite Carl Anderson. We have the brand new Elite 54 Bray Wyatt. I say brand new because I literally got it yesterday. It looks amazing. Very happy to finally have that figure. We got the Elite 47 or 49 Apollo Crews. I think it's Elite 49. Walgreens exclusive Sasha Banks. An older Elite 28 or so Bray Wyatt. Could be wrong though. TNF Tyler Breeze. Entrance greats Kurt Angle. Raw Tag Team Championship. We got Kalisto. Custom Elite Luke Gallows looking nice. Used a Undertaker for this. Painted it up. Looks very nice. Ringside exclusive Finn Balor. Hate that he had to lose to John Cena last night. We have this Custom Elite Bobby Roode. Have not removed the decals off the trunks, but I threw the gold dust uh, robe on there, which looks beautiful. We have a random black chair. We have this Custom Elite Hurricane. Very nice to see him return at the Rumble. Hopefully he uh, sticks around. He's not just a one-off, just like Rey Mysterio. Another surprise entry in the Royal Rumble. We had C.N. Almas, the NXT Champion. We have the man, Seth Rollins, right here. Just recently lost his tag title, and he wasn't on Raw this week, so I guess we don't know what's going on with Seth Rollins. We have Woken Matt Hardy right here, part of the Epic Moments Hardy Boys. Beautiful figure. We have Happy Rusev Day right here with this Custom Elite Rusev. Love this figure a lot. Love this custom shirt. We have Undertaker's Hat, finally. We have the Network Spotlight Bailey. And we have this Fix Up John Cena figure, which looks great. I love that head scan. And he just recently killed Finn Balor and earned a spot in the Elimination Chamber. I think that is completely it. Maybe we have one more. Uh, okay, last figure right here is the Battle Pack. Um, this is actually Daniel Bryan, but I swapped the head scan on from Shane McMahon because I... Uh, Tore apart my Shane McMahon from the Battle Pack with Dean Ambrose to make a Elite, and it did not work out, so I went ahead and made this makeshift Shane. I still think it works for Shane McMahon. And I think that is all the figures. Let me go ahead and check again to make sure. So, yes, we have completely went all the way through the bad guys, as you see here. Let me go ahead and show you guys all these figures that we have lined up here. So, here are all the figures now. And the reason that I have all these figures in this bag before we end the video, I want to tell you guys that since I go back and forth to school, this is the bag I used to load up my figures in to take them to school. So um, I can still put out videos for you guys. So that is the reason I made this video. So I guess you could say travel bag full of WWE figures. But I wanted to show you guys all the figures I bring with me on a week-to-week -week basis. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. Try to get this video to 300 likes. Comment down below what your favorite figure is that I bring with me week to week. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.